Good evening, Factorio fans, and welcome back to Lawrence Place, Factorio Angel Bobs. I've decided that today it's been far too long since I've had a combat-heavy episode, and I need to free up some extra space for the circuit factory that I've been talking about for the last couple of episodes. So what I'm going to do today is head off over here and extend this area. So I'm going to try and push this wall all the way up here, and then another one from this lake back over this way, and, well, we'll, we'll see how far I get with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I actually have some useful equipment for doing that. So I've got ten plasma turrets here. Those will be very, very, those will be absolutely vital. Uh, what have we got in here? There's a decent number of turrets. Lots of gun turrets, and there's 100 and, 107 sniper turrets as well. So that, that should keep me going. I think that should be should be absolutely fine. Um, what about belts? I've got lots of grey belts. That'll be fine for uh, for turrets. Good. And walls are the other thing. Got lots of brick. Yeah, loads and loads of walls. Great. And lots of ammunition as well. I should try and use some of that up. Okay, I think that's everything I need, so let's head off over that way. I've been talking about getting these circuits up and running for a while now, actually. Um, and as far as I can tell, there's something like... Um, I'm going to need about nine different stations to bring in all of the supplies. And that's having one station carrying all of the different ores in, in one, on one fairly... One, on one five-car train as well. So it's going to be quite a... <laughs> quite a big job and I'm going to need a decent amount of space for it but hopefully once I've got it set up and running it will just tick over happily and keep absolutely and keep all the different um, supplies keep all the different circuits supplied to the rest of the factory uh, I'm sure it won't it'll turn out to not actually be as easy as I'm uh, suggesting here <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of those things that's far easier said than done but the idea should be I think is quite good because there's a lot of interdependent parts so all the electronics components for example are required by various different circuits and also by the um, construction and bots especially the mark ii's as i think i mentioned before and there's also a certain amount of overlap between the different products required for the for the for the, for the substrates for the uh, for the boards as well so okay let's repair everything while we're here that was interesting there were a load of uh, miners i hadn't actually got right, hadn't finished up and placed <laughs> Okay, so let's have a quick look at the ma the map before we get started. So there's a big base here, but it's of the basic type of biter, so that's not going to be too too much of a danger, especially as I don't uh, don't really need to necessarily kill them all. I can just keep uh, build a, wa a wall up past them and uh, take. Well, actually, given the range of uh, plasma turrets, I may w may end up taking them out as I go past anyway, without really even though I don't really need to. Some more there. I can't tell actually which ones are the colourful ones and which ones are the easy ones at, the, at this point. So let's just get started and see how far we get. Uh, that's going to have to go as well. So let's start off with some defence, some defences down here, giving us a little bit more range, and then we'll um, start to head up one power pole at a time. And I'm going to need a splitter in here as well. Let's use grey for everything, just because it's. I said let's just use grey for everything, and then immediately. Put down the, the other sort of belts, but never mind. Uh, let's take a couple of packs of those. Now, it's been so long since I've done any of this sort of combat stuff, I've forgotten what the best way of doing it is. I think I want to just take a copy of a, a chunk. Oh, yeah, I was putting down um, pylons a bit more regularly, wasn't I? So, I'm going to need a bit more space down here in this wall to get my construction vehicle out. Oh. I don't have any... I've got 48 pylons, so that'll keep me going for a little while. I'm going to have to go back and get some more before I finish this uh, run, though. I can tell that. Tell you that. Okay, let's get started by taking out two biters. <laughs> Actually, I want to take a copy of that without any um, plasma turrets in it. Try and put the plasma turrets down, just sort of just where they're required, rather than having too many of them. This feels like one of those descriptions of warfare, where it's described as long periods of boredom followed by short periods of activity or possibly long periods short periods of boredom followed by long periods of being dead if you're blackadder oh i think those biters up there might have noticed me yep here we go question is are those two plasma turrets enough to keep me safe yes so far they are excellent those turrets are really noisy there's been some talk on the um factorio blog actually about them making about them playing with the way sound effects are done and how far they carry and how loud they are and stuff like that. And I suspect, whilst obviously they haven't been, te they it won't have been tested fully, completely thoroughly by them, by them with the um, with with the various mods and things. I suspect the uh, this mod has got, is is having sort of having some slightly odd times with the or it, it, it's the the uh, the mod is causing all this. The changes in the code are causing the mod to do some slightly odd things with the sound by the 
by the sound of it, if you'll pardon the um, expression. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple of ways I could do this, I think. I can either build up a perimeter, as I seem to be doing at the moment, and then go and clear out inside it once it's once it's finished, or I can go around and pick up, try and pick off these nests as I go past them. I'm not sure which way is better. Where are they going? I don't think it really matters. I've got a decent level of overlapping fire going all the way up here from the plasma turrets, so that should keep everything safe. And hopefully the um, normal gun turrets will be enough to keep things to keep things ticking over anyway as well. I don't know why I find drawing a straight line with these belts so hard. I'm also not 100% sure why I bother putting down the um, normal turrets when the plasma turrets are so much better than absolutely anything else at all. Apart from because I only had 10 of them when I started, I guess. That's a pretty good reason not to use the, them everywhere. Okay, I thought I might be going to have to run away then, but no, it's been that's absolutely fine. Okay, so if I put one in here, that's going to be able to take out the entire rest of that nest. So that's quite good. At least if I ever get a pylon in up there. Oh, here it comes. Oops. That was a mistake. I don't have the firepower to deal with that. Oh, where are we? <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. So, um, what I did then, in case you weren't watching, was um, accidentally point a plasma turret out at the bases off to the east here when I didn't have enough defensive guns arrayed along the rest of the wall to um, to deal with the attack that would, that would caught trigger. Oh, I just blown a load of stuff up, of course. Oh well, the bots will rebuild it. And then once we've got enough guns, and I think I might copy a chunk from down here, put in a few extra along here, because, I don't know, I just have, have this feeling that this is going to be a slightly harder fight. Especially if I end up not um, wiping out all the nests that are sort of nearby. Interesting, I've picked up various types of fish in my travels as well. Goodness knows whether. Well, obviously they came out of the lakes, but uh, you know. Okay, so I'm going to need to go and get some more uh, supplies at some point. I definitely need more construction bots and more big pylons. More belts is probably a good idea. Walls, I've got plenty of. Maybe some more sniper turrets. But yeah, more bots is the big one. Because I'm sure this uh, the robo ports on this construction vehicle can. Yeah, so these, these can take 50 each, so I could have 150 doing all this building for me, and then things would be so much quicker. Granted, that would be a significant proportion of my um, of the bots I've built in total, but yeah, I feel I can justify using quite a lot of them for something like this, just to make things a bit quicker. How are we doing? Okay, that's good enough. So let's rotate these plasma turrets round, so they're pointing, back at, pointing out of the base, because they are supposed to be defences, really. And let's see how this goes this time. Now I've got a few more guns in place. Why are they getting so far up there? Are they getting smarter and trying to avoid the area of effect of my uh, turrets? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> okay, the sniper turrets seem to be keeping the biters under control and stopping them getting too close. I'm going to take out this nest over here as well, because I don't want to have to... I'm going to take some of the pylons back from here. Oh, I haven't quite got the range from here. Oh, I've got the range to anger them though. <laughs> Oh, that's quite nice. Now they're all now they've all gone over there. I can put in another turret down here and hopefully take out most of those biters. Limited range, uh, limited danger. Sorry. There we go. That's going quite well. Nice. <laughs> oh, the slaughter. I'm aware that I'm going to be using a lot of energy shooting up, taking out all these these attacking biters. So I'm going to try and take out a big chunk of their base. Hopefully without too much risk. To my turrets. <laughs> maybe not so much like that then. I say that, that did quite well. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there's another one with them on the um, on the inside. Okay, that worm saw me. <laughs> but none of the biters did. Jeeva light's got a lot darker since this update. It used to be much, much more ye much more yellowy than that, I think. And I I think I'm a fan of the new one. It looks more ore like, I suppose. Less, a bit less shiny. Another rack of extra guns up here. And that'll help defend when I put in some plasma turrets and start taking this base out. Okay, I think that's enough turrets now. Let's give it a shot. Although I will have a pair of these. The colourful biters, I think, evolve much more quickly than the um, regular ones. So they do seem to be a lot more dangerous. Hmm, I'm really running out of plasma turrets. It's going to have to be something else I get more of when I'm, when I'm back at the base. 
I think I'm going to put in one more extension on this before I go to just protect that plasma turret a little bit. How's my defensive line looking? Yeah, I've got some good... I've basically got the plasma turret arcs are all overlapping well enough, so they're all, they're all covering each other. There's this one extra one down here, which is a bit superfluous. I might pick that one up on the way past. But otherwise, that's, absolute, that's uh, fine and, um, yeah, mostly done. Okay, back to base we go. Okay, there are a fewer, far fewer um, plasma turrets available down here for pickup than I was expecting. I wonder if they've all been taken by the... Yes, they have. They've all been taken by the logistics network. Okay, let's um, claim a few more of those then. Here they come. I also want to steal as many construction robots out of these roboports as I realistically can. Because that's something I'm going to need for the um, construction vehicle. Because it doesn't have any remotely enough in it at the moment. There might be some more of those over here by the depot. Let's go and have a look. Okay, there's some old ones as well, but never mind. Still work. Aha! There's loads in there. Right, that's probably enough. If I take too many, I'm not going to have any of my... I've still got like pr almost 400 in my <laughs> main construction um, network. That's not too bad. Okay, now I need pylons. I don't feel like I've got that many of them. That was only 106. Maybe that needs to... Okay, it does stack up to quite a large number. <laughs> oh! Is that... I've run out of iron somehow. That can't be true, can it? Here you have one of your regu regularly scheduled diversions while I go, oh my god, I've run out of something and scurry off to fix it. Interesting. So this... We're getting through iron quickly enough that this station is now emptied completely. That's um, that's actually really good because it means I can start feeding in from the other one. From the new station. Let's get some more construction bots in to deal with this. That can all go. And then this station can start to request iron if I can work out how. I can't remember how to set up an LTN station. <laughs> is that station? Is that box connected? Yes, it is. Okay, let's disconnect that first because otherwise I'll break everything. And that should be iron plates. And we'll call you iron plate drop. Easy. That's sort of greyish colour. Link that back up again. We should see almost immediately for limited values of immediately we should get a this this station summoning a train i said <laughs> oh dear i have got that right haven't i i think so one train to time uh don't ever provide request 8000 specifically iron plates should probably be 10000 really on all of these i think the trains carry that did i link that to the right place on the station <laughs> it didn't like that. I'm sure that's right. No, it is linked to link it to the light, not to the station. Oh, there we go. So, train leaves the depot, and this will sort out that problem with all this um, iron ore that's trying to get out of the trying to get out of the refinery down there. So it comes in here, loads up with iron, and now that that's running, this is running, this is running, this is running, <coughs> and hopefully, yes, this is moving. Excellent. And that means this is moving again. Hurrah! Although that one's been stopped because whatever it is I was triggering that one off, we've got enough of. That's interesting. I wonder what it is. Which one we've got enough of now? I'm not sure. I didn't realise we... I thought I'd set those up to about more like 20k. Maybe it's, maybe it's 10,000. So that's either the lead or the zinc or something like that. I don't know. But it's interesting. That it's nice that it's working anyway. <laughs> that's the relevant takeaway from that. <laughs> the iron isn't going through quite quickly enough, which is odd. I was expecting that to pull through, pull it through very, very quickly when it starts when it starts going. But I guess even sort of loading a train up at full speed isn't isn't enough to run a full belt of iron iron ore into the um, into the system. That's interesting. There we go, full train. How are we getting on here? So so Right, there we go. <laughs> the rest they can deal with. Now, I'm going to keep a bit of an eye on this and make sure that uh, two belts of iron coming out of there is, is sufficient. If not, I can always upgrade them to red belts. Actually, no, I can't. They're not unloading quickly enough. Those inserters are running flat out and they're basically filling two, two yellow belts. 
hopefully two um, yellow belts of iron will be enough to keep my base running. Well, um, <laughs> I think it's sorted onto red belt. What's, what's that? Oh, it's the ammunition factory. I don't care about that. I'm not using ammunition and anything like quickly enough. And steel as well, but steel hasn't got too far left behind, so that's that's not a, too much of a concern. And that's just a grey belt going into the um, the rest of the factory over here. Why is that used up all of the iron in the ammunition factories? You're not supposed to be making ammunition. Well, that's not quite true. You are supposed to be making ammunition, but or you're supposed to be feeding a steady stream of ammunition out, but it shouldn't need it to be. There should be enough in the boxes to keep it going without needing any uh, any more to be made. There we go. <laughs> right, that belt should now be kept absolutely full by the inserters. At least eventually when I'm not putting huge demands on the ammunition supplies. Now, where did I leave the construction vehicle? Because that's got a lot of ammunition in it that's completely unnecessary. Let's keep a couple of packs. And this can go into the box over here. Oh, and let's get rid of the yellow as well. This is something I feel I should probably do more often, just generally unload all of the junk that I seem to be end up carrying, but I never get around to it. Oh, that's an interesting side effect. Because there's yellow belts around the top here, and then it goes on to grey ones, the gaps in where this inserter's swinging are filled in automatically, are nicely filled in by the um, by the fact that it gets compressed on the belt as it goes from the yellow onto the grey. Ha! Huh. I hadn't thought of that as being a side effect, but that's that's really quite useful. I imagine a second train has probably been summoned. I don't know if it's already been round. I wasn't I wasn't actually watching, um, but this is probably still on minus lots. Yeah, minus seventeen thousand. So, is there another iron train on its way? Yes, there it is, and that'll keep bringing it up until uh, until we've got a decent supply of it here. Now we've got a nice yeah. All these belts are flowing more or less as fast as they can, <laughs> so it is. Everything's filling up, blimey. I hadn't realised quite how starved for iron my base was. And that's happened because I got rid of the um, the station here and I was thinking, oh, I've got all this iron to unload before this will become a problem. But actually, it, yeah, we get through iron at quite a rate, even when we're not doing any research. So it's, um, it became a problem quicker than I ex was expecting, put it that way. Okay, so now there might be a few more. Yeah, there's another 24 big electric poles. But I think that'll do for now. Let's head back to the front line and we'll continue this in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.